hey guys welcome back to my channel this is wazin from j mom creations welcome back today's video i just wanted to come out and now that, I, that now that we have been quarantined i don't know if you guys going through the same thing i've been going through things cleaning up things i'm moving things around and of course they give me a chance to go to my garage and my storage room and i've been finding a lot of pieces that i either got got lost in the cluttered in the garage or the um storage room this piece i found right here i have this i don't know if it's showing clear but i i have this piece back in the days guys i have this piece back in the days when i had first purchased my townhouse as a first time homeowner and at that time i was into and six and at that point i used to buy a lot of antique going to antique shows and for some reason as you can see this piece i have it for a very long time it's destroyed being in the garage let me show you as you can see i have probably had taped it and all kind of all kind of stuff going through it and right now it looks like it's damaged on the sides Oh my god I don't know this is way before farmhouse was farmhouse before I even knew anything about YouTube then that was like in the early 2000s early 2000 or maybe 90 98 or something like that I remember back in the days I used to be in love with Christopher law I didn't even know anything about AGTV at that time because I was I was just starting out and I had my first apartment then I saved and bought my first uh, townhouse and my goodness I was living on top of the world at that time so you know all my budget was going through decor and things like that i wasn't you know matured like i am today so to know that i had to go and goodwill and buy this and buy that and repurpose them at that time i felt like you had to spend the money to get what you want <laughs> so now that i'm matured enough i know better you know so this piece i got it from an antique shop where i purchased most of my furniture back in the days which i got rid of i, I think i only kept a few of them i think i kept my fireplace mantle in my bedroom and my dresser that is now in my entryway the long dresser i repainted it it was dark um mahogany uh, color wood that's when things like that was in style but i kept drawing to that piece now with i'm going with the farmhouse and and this is all farmhouse and i don't know whether i'll be able to repair this piece I don't know if it was original when I got it, but at that time it was more the antique look that's in there. You see, it is so pretty. Like the little boy waving at the little girl on the horse. Like the little Willy Farmers, you know? And and where it came from, let me see who if I can show you guys. The person who it says the tender years from Duan uh probus is that what you say and right here he signed it again so i don't know whether i'll be able to repair it so i'm gonna take it apart i'm gonna take it apart and then um see if i can paint the we paint the frame and maybe like use the um glue or fix or glue the e6 2000 and E6000 or E2000? One of them. I don't know. You guys quote me. I don't know. Maybe E6000. Yeah, E6000. Sounds much better. So, yeah, I'm probably going to use that kind of glue and see if I, after I paint it, if I could glue it together and use it on my fireplace. I think it will be a very nice touch as farmhouse look that I, I've been falling in love with with so guys this is why i brought you along that you know that quarantine thing it kind of me going into places in my house that i never had time to do so i never had time to go to the store all i did is putting things that i'm not using in there now that i've been you know doing so and going in there and moving things sorting things out and then you know throw things away and salvage things and repurpose things I think this is just so pretty when I found that I'm like oh my god I didn't know it's something if I move here with it from two two how three this is my third home that I purchased from three homes and maybe two apartments before I bought my first home this piece had to say something to me I don't know why I did not throw it away 
but it's something it's speaking something to me and i'm gonna try to see why i held on to it for that long and see if i can repurbish it so guys stay tuned to see if i'm taking you into that journey to see if i could repurbish this piece and put it on my fireplace mantle and you guys let me know if you agree with me and i want to hear comments if it if it was you that found it would you throw it away or would you repurbish it like i'm going to and i'll show you after it's all done where i put it on top of my fireplace and when you whoever please disregard my back my back patio because i like i said it's a lot of mess back here because this is where i come with the stuff that i found and sorted things out so that's pretty much what i do this place i don't know when it will get fixed but right now this is my spot when i drag them i bring them here go through them and sort things out Hopefully when Goodwill we open, I could donate a lot of stuff that I'm not going to use. But stay tuned guys for this piece and leave me comment and let me know if it was you. Would you throw it away? Is it worth salvaging or what? And if you like me that's into the farmhouse, I'd like to hear from you. Stay tuned guys. Okay, I took it apart. I removed the frame. And let me show you the those damages that is on it this right here i think i'm gonna get some black paint and mix with some gray to come up with something to fix up this tree where the thing the paint come off and yeah it has some damage to it but for most part uh i think i could still salvage it this is the frame let me show you this is the frame. I removed the frame from it. So I'm just gonna paint the frame. Maybe um let me let me flip it over. Hold up. What I'm going to do, I'm probably gonna tape this part because I don't wanna cover this. So I'm just gonna tape it so that way um i don't damage it or maybe i could try to remove it it has a nail in it i'm not gonna mess with it so i'm just gonna uh, tape it with some blue pe uh, tape and then to try to keep it as much as original that it was even though it may not be an original piece because it looks like it's a, a board but i just love the farmhouse in there i don't care really how how good it turned out as long as i can get the frame back to frame with it together in a good solid um, movable piece i will be good with it so i was thinking of giving the frame a uh, a white paint a white color and i don't know if black or white i have both colors but i think i'm gonna try it with white because i want the because it looks so faded I want the paint to, I want the artwork in there to pop out. I think the white will bring it out more. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'm so, I'm so excited. <sighs> All right, guys, look what I did. I don't know if you can see the damage that used to be right here. I used um, some acrylic paint that I had and i mixed the little green with the black and some chalk paint and a little acrylic um um green paint and this is what it looked like i fixed it right here you guys remember and so far so good i think it will go <laughs> i don't know but anyway i touch up everywhere that had that little white spot that was missing missing and i think it looks good and right now my frame is being dry so so good so far so good yeah i'm loving it all right guys this is the artwork i have not hang it on the mirror because i need coming hood but right now i think i did a very good job this is how it look let me get closer so you guys can see it <laughs> voila not much better i have not um decorated the top yet but i just want to put these little item this bird nest around so that way so i could show you some visual interest uh, with the artwork but it's really not put together so this is 
it guys i think it looks good all my farmhouses out there <laughs> let me know if this is a great idea to repurpose this artwork or should i have let it go salvage and i think i think i did good by um fixing the ends you can't even see where i touch up you can't even see it guys you can't i did such a great job now that it's all painted and dries even where i did the little um touch up in the trees you can't even see it i love it this is my nice farmhouse tea artwork and i'm glad that i get it back to good use i don't know <laughs> how long i'll keep it up there but once i try put this one back together and get the common hook um and hang it on that mirror up there i think it will be a nice little good addition here on the fireplace for now and uh, thank you guys for watching and i appreciate you guys taking the time to go on this little journey with me i love you all and don't forget to subscribe share and enjoy this video and i thank you for watching again i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> i love you guys bye bye i'm so excited you know guys you know i'm always over the edge all right guys have a good one bye Mwah. love you